New details about the two students taken into custody after a school scare in Deerfield Beach. Authorities have now released their identities as we learn more about the drugs and weapons found on campus. Local 10's Leanne Motohong joins us live outside the school with all the latest. Leanne. Yeah, those teens were in court today. Let's take you to some video. Uh, these are the two teens charged with bringing guns and drugs to the campus of Deerfield Beach High School. They are 17 year olds. Cameron McLaughlin and Terrell Persaud Ali. They went before a judge this morning. Attorneys for the teens mentioned they believe the search that led to their arrests was illegal. Uh, it was also revealed that Mr. Persaud Ali is currently staying with McLaughlin's family because, well, they are out of the country. The judge ordered them held on secure detention, so they will not be getting out from behind bars for the time being. Now, this discovery of the drugs and the weapons was made yesterday around 2 p.m p.m. on the campus, specifically a parking lot on the campus of Deerfield Beach High School. A Broward County Public Schools security guard allegedly noticed McLaughlin asleep inside of a running car in the school parking lot. The Broward Sheriff's Office says the security guard supervisor then searched the vehicle, found a backpack, and then found a gun in that backpack. Then that person called BSO when deputies arrived. This is what they found. This is a photo, they say, of the two loaded handguns, several loaded magazines, a drum magazine, and illegal drugs that were located inside of that vehicle. The two teens, 17 years old, uh, were taken into custody and charged. Now, this, of course, comes on the heels of another gun-related incident over at Stranahan High School. The superintendent, Peter Licata, responding to these incidents, saying that he hopes to have metal detectors at some, if not all, of Broward County's high schools in about two months. We're very disappointed by uh, our students bringing weapons. Uh, it's just not what we expect of them. Uh, we expect our parents also to be there and, and see what's in their child's backpack or, or make sure they understand that that's not that's not good because it, it ruins their future. I mean, especially for you know, superintendent emphasizing that it really takes the whole community of a child within a child's life to prevent something like this from happening. Thankfully, no one was hurt and there was no violent incident connected to what was located here on the campus. Uh, coming up uh, in the next time we'll see you at five o'clock, we will delve into what the superintendent had to say about this incident and what he plans to do in the future. That's coming up at five o'clock. For now, reporting live here in Deerfield Beach, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.